So we're going to look at the 19 best Nike boots of the year and we're going to start off with this pair. They actually came out near the start of the year, a very bold red colour, but look at the sole plate on these. One of the real standout features of this boot is that sole plate, a really nice silver Nike swoosh outlined in the black and then you've got this uh, chevron type design that we saw on the heel was actually kind of a prominent feature of what is the game over pack. These are the Phantom Visions. It has that big pass zone on there as well with that stretchy stock bit at the top and the ghost laces hiding the laces. All right, number 18 in our list, a much more recent release. And this time we're looking at the Phantom Venom. Uh, the sole plate on these is really nice as well. Don't always get that on Phantom Venoms. One of my favorite things we'll get to in a minute is the Planet logo on the back. The swoosh on these is really nice as well. Obviously we've got the um, precision element here. This is from the Terra Pack. There's that Planet logo I was talking about. These could have been the Planet Football Boots uh, pack, but these are just really nice. Number 17 in our list. We're going to smash through these boots in this one today. And we're looking at something that came out in time for the Women's World Cup. Now, these are the Victory Pack or the Wings Pack, all tied into the Greek goddess Nike, the goddess of victory. And it has this subtle wing pattern on the boots in that grey and with the orange. Really nice pair of boots. The next ones we're looking at in this box are another pair of Phantom Venoms. The sole plate on these isn't quite as nice, but there is one detail that really stands out. As you can see around the back there, you've got the Just Do It, and that was something that we saw in the New Lights pack. That's the standout feature. Look at that swoosh, the way that it moves, outlined in the vault. And these are just really nice, classic pair of black boots with some fantastic detailing on the swoosh. And yeah, you've got that New Lights kind of branding that we see on those boots. It's kind of hidden on here, but it is there around the heel. All the Nike, the Just Do It, all kind of immersed in. But really, a really nice pair of black boots. Uh, one of the best Phantom Venom colorways that we've seen this year. All right, number 15, and we're looking at another pair of Vapors. Now, these were for Neymar. They came out right near the start of the year again. So these are the Vapor 360s. These are the Vapor 12s, not the 13s. Um, so slightly different than some of the more recent releases later in the year. These were the Shh or Silencio ones. They had the Neymar detailing on the heel and Shh all over the boots and a really nice bag that came with those as well. Number 14, talking about nice bags, it has that kind of safari print going on with it. And then the detail that you'll see on the boot is on the bag as well. Look at these, they are so nice in the white. And these are the level up boots. They were only worn by Kylian Mbappe, Cristiano Ronaldo and Sam Kerr. And they just look so nice, especially when you get the flash on there and you can really see that safari print coming out. I'm hearing we might be seeing a safari boot in 2020 potentially for Ronaldo or at least in the Superfly line. So I'm really excited to see something from that. Number 13, what have we got here? We have an understated soul plate. This is another one of the more recent releases. So these you may have seen being worn by Kevin De Bruyne. They are only for players who won the league in the previous year. So um, Verratti at PSG has also been wearing them, I believe. Um, another PSG player who's got them as well. But it has this kind of mango kind of pinky orange going on with them and then tied into the grey upper. It means that the mango really pops on these really nicely. All those little details like the quad fit and stuff. It's also blended into that ghost laces cover, which is a really nice touch. In at number 12, the uh, launch colorway pretty much for the um, Mercurials moving into the Vapor um, 13 and the Superfly 7. These are the Vapors that we're looking at and it has that chrome sole plate. Lovely blue um, upper on these in the New Light pack. and. Really a very nice release that was seen worn by tons and tons of players because it was around for so long at the start of the season and just the first time that we've seen that Just Do It really pop out on the boots. Now, in at number 11, we have another pair of boots. We are looking at these, the Mercurial Dream Speed 001. We're expecting another, at least one, maybe two Mercurial Dream Speeds in 2020. A very nice sole plate on these. Um, the colors they use are really nice as well. The design is um, to do with Ronaldo, but it also has like speed factored into it as well. And lovely little shine to the MDS on here. On the other boot, it has the 001 with that kind of reflective look as well. 44.7 is all to do with the top speed reached by Kylian Mbappe in a game scoring a goal. In at number 10, we've got these boots. Thanks to Parids for hooking us up with this video. And it is a very special pair of boots. There's only 100 of them being made. Very hard to get hold of. They're celebrating um, 
Alex Morgan getting 100 goals to the US Women's National Team and it has a really nice unique design for her on these Phantom Venoms. These are individually numbered, they're pair 95 of 100 and they're just super hard to get hold of. Alex Morgan on there instead of the Phantom Venom that's on the standard boot, really nice. Number 9, another pair of boots picked up by Parids and these are a pair of boots that you would have seen Sadio, um, Sane sorry, wearing in the FA Cup Final at the end of last season. So they are really nice gold version of the Euphoria pack. Uh, Mercurials limited to 2019 pairs. It has the white and the gold and that paint splatter that was tied into the um, Euphoria, Euphoria mood mode pack that came out and they're just so nice the swoosh on these is so nice there was also a pair of uh phantom venoms that came out that were worn by raheem sterling in the same game all right number eight and we're going back we're looking at the victory pack again you can really see that kind of wing design very prominent on these ones and it has those kind of two tones of gray really helps it pop out the wings themselves kind of more of like a silver color and these are the phantom venoms so they were worn at the women's world cup a lot of players were in these but overall, a very nice release. That pack really kind of had nice kind of matching between all the boots in there. And these just look really nice on the Phantom Venoms. Really nice. Number seven. All right, so these are a pair of the T90 Laser Remakes. Thanks to the boot room for this video. And these are just stunning. They are so almost one-to-one. -one. It is fantastic. The only difference is that sole plate, which is based off the old Hyper Venom. It still has that skeleton look on the bottom of it, but... The technology is means that it's considerably lighter, which is great. It has the air zoom unit, the total 90, and then it has that um, kind of shooting element at the front there with the off, -site, off, um, off center lacing. And it's all about um, getting your big kind of swerve and precision and power and stuff off that shooting element. Number six in the list. We're almost into the top five, guys. These are another pair of Neymar boots, the Neymar Vapors, the Vapor 13s. These are really nice. They are the Speed Freak and they have a really stunning sole plate. You can see the difference with the Vapors, how they've evolved from the 12 to the 13, how they can wrap that fly knit around so much better, do so much more cool stuff. Obviously it has the AeroTrack system at the front as well now. And look at all the different Neymar logos on here, really good. He's already gone and got himself another Neymar logo since these boots came out. So we're expecting to see another Neymar release in 2020 as well with that new logo. But overall, really, really nice boot. I love the racing theme to these. All right, number five, and these come via Boot Collector. Thanks for those. It is a pair of Tiempos, the one and only Tiempos that we have in this top 19 boots of Nike of the year. But these are really stand out. They are the Dazzle Camo. They look black and white from a distance. Uh, Virgil van Dijk wore them in training pre-launch of the Tiempo 8. And they're just such a great boot. It has these crazy colors. It says Tiempo in the words on there and stuff. It's all over the sole plate. It's all over the upper. They're just crazy but so awesome at the same time. They are a limited release and you can even see the colors blended into the Flyknit on these. That Flyknit tongue, the new construction um, of the Vapor, uh, to the Tiempo 8. And they just look fantastic. I mean, they are one of the best releases, but we've got four more to go. In at number four are these. Now, interestingly, this is the hard ground sole plate, but we're talking about the Phantom Venoms. You'll have seen these worn again by Sterling and Lewandowski, Cardi, anybody who won the league last year um, gets to wear these. So you're not seeing Harry Kane wear these, even though he's a Phantom Venom wearer, but they've got so much of a reminder of going back to um, T90s. This mango color to these is so, so nice. Soon, guys, I'm going to ask you what your favorite boot in this video was or your favorite boot of the year, and you'll be able to vote in a poll card. I will put a poll card up so you can do that. But we're going to move on and we're going to have a look at what is in third place. But before I do that, I'm going to talk to you about these boots. If we'd have got a pair, if we'd have unboxed them, they would definitely be right near the top of this list. Megan Rapinoe, she got these for win winning the Women's Ballon d'Or. Absolutely stunning, but they are only available for her. Nobody's going to get their hands on those at all. All right, another boot for somebody in particular. You may guess by looking at the start of this. Cristiano Ronaldo. These were to celebrate his season with Juventus, the Juventus colors, um, black and white. And then it's that CR7 uh, that they've used on these. The bag on these is so nice. The boots themselves are so nice. It's just a fantastic release. On one side, it just looks like a nice classy black and gold boot. Pretty standard. Mercurial logo on the heel. It's all looking good. And then you turn it over and you look at the other side. 
and then you suddenly realize whose boots they are. That chrome sole plate on these is really, really nice. And boom, there you go. These are Cristiano Ronaldo's boots. There is no arguing about whose boots these are. In at number two, it's another video, thanks to Pritz, and we are looking at the absolute launch pair of the Mercurial Vapors. Now, another pair of these came out as well, the Superflies as well, only 2019 pairs available. It's such a good sole plate, such the first time that we'd seen that um, wraparound fly knit used on these ones, and then it has that little shadow Nike swoosh graphic as well, which is fantastic, and that's why they're number two. But number one are these. I don't know if you'd already guessed it, but they are the Killian Mbappe first ever signature edition you are looking at his bondi dreams superfly 7 the 93 refers to the postal code in the bondi area of france you've got um the nike swoosh on this really standout bag the Kylian mbappe logo guys vote in the poll card now tell me your favorite boot in this video it has to be these surely they are so nice maybe there's some people who don't really feel them but i gotta tell you they are absolutely probably my favorite release of 2019 from Nike. That's why they're number one in this video. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Go enjoy your football.